The Minister will know that HS2 will reduce travel times from London to Manchester from 2 hours 10 to 1 hour 10 and to Scotland even more, yet the train times to Swansea, where I represent, will remain at around 3 hours. So how is it that Scotland will get an additional £8 billion of Barnet consequentials and Wales won't get the £5 billion it should get uh, at a time that we've seen in the last 12 years only 1.5% of the rail enhancements going to Wales? So will he look at this again? Will he meet with me to discuss this so that we can have our fair share to deliver net zero, to deliver productivity and to, indeed to deliver levelling up? Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I mean, he, he is right that there are no direct Barnet consequentials from HS2 to Wales, but there are indirect benefits that I can indeed explain to him when I take up his invitation to meet with him, which I, I just have. Um, I should also just mention to him, uh, and I welcome this, that the um, Office of Rail and Road reports that government funding for the operational railway was £1.27 per passenger kilometres in England and £2.39 per passenger kilometre in Wales and Scotland, which I also welcome and will be keen to support.